we'll get away with a nice weekend. And we'll show you what changes are coming to the uh, short-term forecast across the country right now with our, our Canada a wide uh, satellite and Doppler radar map here. A little low moving over the Haida Gwaii area that was there yesterday. It's more or less stationary, but again, it's steering that unstable air across the central interior. Some of it working its way across the Rockies, showing up in central Alberta as well in the form of some scattered rain showers. Nothing severe or anything like that, but certainly enough cloud to trigger some showers. It'll be clearing over southern Saskatchewan today, clearing into southern Manitoba, but not until the second half of the day. A few leftover showers here. This much warmer air stream here riding up along the eastern seaboard provides not only some filtered sunlight for all of your uh, south, uh, southeast Ontario areas and southern Quebec, but also some warmer weather looking pretty good into the Maritimes today. So a big improvement on yesterday's soggy cycle that had moved on through the Maritimes. 27 degrees in sunny Toronto, 28 for Ottawa today. Uh, 24 in Quebec City. Maritime temperatures in the low 20s and again a nice gradual clearing trend. The only wet area really in the east coast is way out in St. John's with a little leftover rain for about the next four to six hours. Central part of the country we get some sun into Regina today. Not much in the way of sun for Edmonton or for Calgary. Temperatures in the low teens with enough clouds to trigger some showers throughout the day. Metro Vancouver only a few fair weather clouds this morning. No rain and the promise of yet another clearing trend for this afternoon. We'll aim for about 23 degrees today. 21 tomorrow but if a breeze blows a nice mix of sun and cloud could be a dome opener for the Whitecaps game tomorrow. And then Sunday the last in the series of sunny warm days by Monday it clouds over the rains closing in during the afternoon. Tuesday looks especially wet. In fact, it may turn out to be the wettest day of the past several weeks with some rain for Tuesday, some leftover showers on Wednesday, and those temperatures finally returning to normal. They're in the teens for early June.